So this video is just showing some of the features of my PCB design here which allows you to use Xbox 360 wireless controllers on an original Xbox. So they just plug straight into the front of the console and you can use up to four wireless controllers which um, gathers all this data through the Xbox 360 wireless USB receiver. So I just this controller here is not currently synced so I'll just, um, if I just sync it you just do it as you normally would on a on a PC or, or Xbox. So you just so when that's synced up, the LED will indicate that it's the player one, and the second LED on this board will show that the um, device has synced up, and also that it's connected connected to the front of the original Xbox console. Um, so for each each device, you just have to have a cable that goes into the corresponding port on the front of the Xbox. Uh, just to show a second controller getting synced up, I'll just do that now. So, that's syncing up to my PC if I do that. And then sync it. It's now taking player 2 spot, and you'll see that the LED on the second module has lit up. So, player 1 and player 2 modules are saying that there is a wireless controller synced, and because they have a cable going into the Xbox, that also makes the LED light up. So if I disconnect that one, that LED will go off, indicating that although the wireless controller is synced, it, um, it's not connected to the front of the Xbox. So plug that back in, that LED comes back on. And it's the same for modules 3 and 4. A couple of things I just want to add in that this design <coughs> is a modular type approach and that uses these readily available Arduino Pro Micro modules which allows you to install from one up to four modules depending on how many players that you want to support. So if you just want three players, you just don't have to buy that fourth module and it will work. Also, if you disconnect um, this player one cable, so this goes down to this module here, which this one's like the master module. If I disconnect that, this is like the main power source of this. So if I disconnect that, the whole thing will just uh, stop working. So the second module is still getting power from through this cable here but the Xbox wireless receiver has turned off because it gets its main power through through this board here. So this one can go back into player one slot or it can go into any other slot you want if you just wanted to play with uh, player two and player three. You can just plug that in there and bam, there it goes back on. So the wireless receiver has been um, enumerated and both these LED lights have come back on indicating that it's been successfully connected through the Xbox ports and also the two wireless receivers are synced. So, I'm just going to show it in action for a bit. So, if you just go here, first up, system information. This is the XBMC dashboard. Hardware, you can see that controller port 1 and controller port 2 are saying that two gamepads. So, they're the two controllers uh, that we synced up before. I moved that um, connector back to controller port 1, and controller port 4 has just the IR remote in there. This is the um, control test program. So. Just showing that it's registering all the inputs here. Okay. That triggers. All works fine. I think it's all registering good. The only thing that um, so the black and white buttons are the L and R buttons on the top there. Um, the only thing that it does not do, and it's just a hardware limitation of the Xbox 360 controllers, and that the um, a, B, X, Y, black and white buttons on the original Xbox controller are actually analog buttons, whereas on the Xbox 360 controller they're just digital, so if you just press A, it's just um, straight away it's just uh, full on, I guess. There's no like in-between values, but I'm not sure what games that affects, but it seems to, to go alright. Okay, so this is just Halo 2 split screen, uh, just to show both controllers working in the game at the same time. So this is player one controller. Obviously this is controlling the player one screen. So um, all the controls support uh, rumble and everything. So if I shoot, you, can, so you can't see it in the video, but the controller actually rumbles. So everything's very responsive, to me at least. And um, just, I 
I'll just grab the, I'll grab the second controller. So this is the Player 2 controller. This one would control the uh, Player 2 screen. So that's uh, working fine. One thing I'll just show here, if you um, hold the Xbox button down, the controller will turn off and then it actually sends a USB disconnect event to the original Xbox and it brings up this screen here saying that oh, your, your controller has been disconnected and pauses the game. So to get it back on, you just uh, turn the controller back on and then um, just press A to continue and you're back in it. And that also works for any controller. So it turn off, it turns off for, for, um, for a flat battery or anything, it'll bring up that screen just like a real controller if you were to disconnect it. There you go. We wired all four of the modules in here, so taking up all four control slots. So each one of those has this LED lighting up, so that indicates that it has been detect successfully detected on the Xbox and also the wireless controller has been synced up to the um, receiver. So. Alright, so got all four controllers up now. So this is player one, so that we will control player one screen. Player two. Player four, three, sorry. And then So I guess that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, all the code and hardware is actually all open source. So I'll make sure there's a link for that. Um, other than that, it seems to work pretty well. And it's quite easily updatable the software. So if I find any issues, um, you can always update it and fix it out pretty easily.